Hey, what do you know? New lights, new table, new microphone, and a new camera angle. Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about my experience with Xiaomi products so far. As you guys can see, we have multiple different type of Xiaomi products. That range from game pads, to smartphones, to tablets, to PC peripherals, LEDs, dash cam, Bluetooth speaker, security camera, VR headset, VR headset, another VR headset, somewhere else, TV box, wristband, and uh, yeah guys, so with that being said, Let's get right into it. All right, so we've got a bunch of things here. Let's go ahead and talk about them and try to make this video as concise as possible. Let's go ahead and get started with the software. Now, Xiaomi, I have always liked their MIUI software on their Android devices. It is always just really pleasant to look at. The layout is nice. It is debatable. Some people like stock, some people don't. I like how you can customize your themes and whatnot. I really don't have an issue with most launchers. I can just put on a Google Now launcher or whatnot and just get the stock experience. With that said, does it fail? Yes, it does. Sometimes it fails and uh, usually from what I've seen so far, it fails because of the reseller. What resellers usually do, they would install a variant of the MIUI ROM on these devices so they are more tailored for Western markets. But sometimes Xiaomi does not put out uh, very stable firmware, even though it says stable. They don't usually put very stable firmwares out there on the website for the resellers to install on these devices. So sometimes it's hit or miss. For example, here for the Mi Pad, you guys have seen my video about it. It is having some problems with uh, certain games and certain applications inside the settings menu. On the other hand here with the Xiaomi Mi Phone, I was able to get my bootloader unlock code to install whatever I want. So I was able to install the latest firmware for the Chinese market to test out their VR headset. And then later on, I was able to install a global ROM on it that is also stable. And I was getting OTA updates like that. And I haven't had a single issue with the Xiaomi phone so far, even though I've installed my own OS officially from the Xiaomi forums. So if you're planning to get an Android device from Xiaomi, make sure that you check out reviews and check out the forums and make sure that the current software that it comes with or availability of uh, stable software is out there before you get the tablet. Or you can go ahead and take a risk and use it. For example, the tablet here, it works fine. I mean, some games don't work. Like two games out of all the games I've tried do not work. And there's just the one thing in the uh, settings menu that does not work as well. The tablet works fine. There's nothing wrong with it at all with anything else. Now, the, the audio quality is fantastic. The display is really nice. It is silky smooth. And it is just really pleasant to hold in the hand and enjoy content on it. But on the other hand, with Xiaomi phones, they have great support online. Lots of ROMs. They're stable and there are a ton of ROMs that Xiaomi provides online that are actually stable. You can try and they do update their phones quite a lot, which is really nice. Now moving on to the application that they use to make these things work, specifically the Yi Home and the Yi Light apps. Now these two apps uh, are basically applications that you run on your Android system or Apple and control those devices depending on what they are. The Yi Home app pretty much works on all of the smart devices while the Yi Light app is specifically for the LED lights that they provide. For example, here we have the LED bedside lamp or table lamp or whatever you want to call it. It's an RGB lamp. It is really nice, but this one in specific actually runs with that, the app. You can completely disregard the app, so you can pretty much use this one as a standalone LED. Well, things like the wristband right here, there are no digital displays whatsoever. You just have three LEDs that are touch and that is all. Everything is pretty much controlled using the app on your phone or tablet. Now the apps themselves, they do work. But one thing I really dislike about them is you have to have an Xiaomi account in order to log in and use the app at all. So if you don't have an account, you can't connect to these things. Now you may be asking why is that? Well, for example, like the security camera right here, you can actually connect to this thing wirelessly from a different network than the local network that this thing is hooked up to. For example, this one is very simple. It connects through a micro USB cable and connects to your local network. And then it streams all of that to these Xiaomi servers where you can access them using the app. So that is a nice thing. But for some things like the LED lights here, the app itself is kind of messy. Uh, I would have liked it if they do a redesign on it and just completely change up how you connect to the devices. Have I had any issues with the app itself? Well, I've seen a lot of people have issues with it. Personally, I haven't had an issue other than the RGB LED right here. But as I was making this video, actually, I found out that this LED, it does come in a white variant and an RGB variant, is actually a 220 volts, which I did not know when I purchased this. Now the white one here works perfectly fine. There were no issues whatsoever. You can just use the switch to turn it on and off and change the brightness. But on the other hand, the RGB one here does not work at all. It basically just flickers. When we try to pair it up, it does not work. Initially, I thought that it had the bad firmware as I've read online. But now I'm looking at it, it says 220 volts with 50 hertz. That's probably why this thing does not work here in Canada 
which is a 110 volts at 60 hertz so that's that that is just just be careful some of these devices are made for the european market usually when you shop online make sure you check that it is meant for where you live overall the application itself does work some devices require you to choose mainline china in order to be able to connect and use the wireless features of the app to connect to some of the devices that we have here so again overall it does work is just they need to really refine it actually just redo the whole app it will be it will make everyone happy all right so now that we are done with the software we can go ahead and talk about the build quality now when it comes to pricing and build quality xiaomi is where it's at everything they make literally everything they make is top notch i mean they put a lot of thought into it they make the designs really nice i usually just call xiaomi the ikea of electronics they, their designs are just very minimalistic they're very nice sleek looking some may say they're trying to copy apple but really what i see here is is an amazing variety of an ecosystem that they are making i mean they have tvs they have fridges they have towels i mean they're they're just an empire right now some of the stuff you don't really hear about until you actually look into it and they make pretty much everything xiaomi it's insane but nonetheless their hardware build quality is top notch so their software can be improved but where they really shine is price to build quality and what you're getting guys is just an amazing package for whatever you choose as long as you choose the right thing and it's not for european or it's made for china that it is made for your market again like these ones they're made for the european market and uh, i have a tv box there is also european it only comes in a european plug and things like this dash cam right here that is the media sub brand from xiaomi which is meant for the chinese market all the ui here is chinese only but thankfully the ui is very simple and straightforward there's a whole translation online you can look it up on the product page of itself yeah the build quality here is just awesome so let's take a look here for example this is the controller this was actually my first controller review i've done um ever and uh, i bought this a year and a half ago and this thing is fantastic they put a lot of thought into these kind of things for example if you look here there are absolutely no printed text or labels anywhere on this controller because if you have printed text eventually it might scratch it might rub off and overall the design here is fantastic um the joysticks are great there are no dead zone i've already reviewed it i'll leave links for everything but i mean the build quality here is just really really solid it doesn't flex it is great build quality with xiaomi ties to their designs as well which we'll get into in just a bit for example this controller comes with mitsubishi batteries uh nowadays i'm seeing them ship with their own brand of batteries which is also fine I mean, you can just take a look at the tablet here it is a full aluminum there's no flexing whatsoever it's a solid piece of hardware it is just really nice to hold in the hand especially this tablet right here their phones as well uh it is debatable some people say oh they break when they drop obviously everything's going to break when you drop it their build quality again really ties in with their designs there are no gaps you can't flex it you can't open it it's it's solid they make solid hardware for example this keyboard and this mouse here i've reviewed them before and i've actually went in depth and disassembled this whole keyboard to look at what is inside i mean this keyboard right here has an aluminum back as well as an aluminum base built in right into it it is just a really good keyboard i believe it was running tc switches and it is just fantastic it's a really nice solid piece of hardware really i just never had an issue with their build quality it's always top notch nothing broke so far everything is just really really solid which brings us to the designs xiaomi's designs are again <laughs> top notch i mean they're very minimalistic again i call them like you have electronics but you can see here for example this bluetooth speaker it is very nice and sleek it is simple it's got an aluminum body all around here and then you got this really nice matte finish texture uh going on rubbery actually rubber texture and then you got this nice finish as well it doesn't bend it doesn't flex it's a solid piece of hardware again now the electronics they put in these kind of things are also really really good the sound that these things produce is just phenomenal but overall this thing is very simple it's got a microphone over here led indicator two rubber feet the speakers of course two speakers right here and power button and volume up and down and this is all aluminum even the buttons are aluminum and the back you get the charger and the aux in just a very simple speaker now one thing i really appreciate about xiaomi is how well they put together plastic glass and aluminum together they just love putting these kind of aluminum trims on everything they have their phones maybe some of their phones don't have it their tablets do have it here is a very really nice aluminum trim here's a nice aluminum trim as well as here right here it is a nice aluminum body going on on the back again if you're looking for something that is very nice and sleek looking xiaomi is going to probably have something which brings us to the other thing uh, that ties everything together 
And that is the box. Their packaging is very nice as well. It is very nice and minimalistic and pretty smart. For example, here we have the speaker and the box fits perfectly well. There is no waste of space. It is just perfectly enough to pack the speaker inside of it. There is nothing extra. That's all you need. You just need a box to keep this thing safe when it is shipped. And it does that very well. So if you take the speaker here and put it in, there you go. It is a perfect fit. You got a nice thick wall that protects everything. And again, everything is just very nice and sleek and you can keep it safe like that. Now they do have about three or four different box types. For example, here we have the first Xiaomi headset, VR headset. And you can see that they went for a black cardboard design. It's probably recycled too. That's probably because this was their first headset and they wanna see how, what the reaction is to this thing. But you can take a look at this headset here. They used a Lycra fabric material for this whole thing. And I've reviewed this thing on my other channel actually, but you can see how well this thing was built. The Lycra fabric layer, the uh, cushion material that is going on, everything they do is nicely crafted together with premium materials. Even the zippers here, Xiaomi zippers, I can tell you right now, these are top notch zippers and they do have backpacks. It is funny, they just, they just have everything. Again, like two days ago, I found out they make towels. Who would have known? And sometimes they would have these kind of boxes. These ones are probably the most sturdy ones they have. Uh, they're very simple, they open up like so, and it, they have very nice thick walls. They're not going anywhere. And again, you have these kind of boxes. Now, I think these boxes are mainly meant for the Chinese market. Um, it depends, really. For example, here we have this VR headset from Xiaomi. I haven't unboxed it yet on my other channel, but here's a sneak peek. It looks beautiful. Well, this table looks like a mess. What else to cover? Right, let's talk about my favorite products from Xiaomi. So let's clear this table up and talk about my favorite products. Let's do that now. First of all, we have this gamepad controller. It feels great. If you're a fan of Xbox controllers, you're gonna definitely like this one. This is definitely my favorite game uh, related thing from Xiaomi. Next up, we have their Xiaomi devices, which come with their nice color profiled displays. Their displays are just very unique. They have their own color profile and it is just something to be enjoyed. Uh, displays is always gorgeous. The camera doesn't pick it up properly here, but I can assure you, you're never gonna have a bad experience with their displays. With that being said, I actually like this tablet more than the phone since it has this really nice loud. There are dual back firing speakers. that are very loud and provide really nice crispy audio. Next up, we have their mouse here. Now this mouse runs on 2.4 gigahertz as well as Bluetooth. So from what I do, when I do testing, I really appreciate having the option to switch between Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz. You can find two AA batteries built in here as well as the dongle right in there. So you can use it for your tablet or your desktop or your laptop. It feels great, it's nicely built, and it gets the job done. Next up we have their mechanical keyboard, which I also like very much. It is a red switch keyboard with a black spacebar. And I found that out when I was disassembling this thing, which was very interesting. I totally recommend checking it out if you're interested in keyboards. Moving on, we have again this Bluetooth speaker. I've already talked about it. You can check out the review. The audio quality is just phenomenal. Next up we have these two guys right here. That is the RGB bedside lamp. You can change the colors by simply touching around the ring here and changing the uh, brightness as well by touching the rings. Uh, it is very simple and straightforward, but I definitely like this lamp right here in specific more. So here's what it looks like in the dark. You press the button and turn it on, and then you can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness, or check this out. You hold the button down and you rotate it, and it will change it to a complete yellow or orange, or you can go the other way around and get a blue um, cool color. And that is something I really, really like about this thing. Um, other than the bigger quality, again, it is a full aluminum built with a plastic uh, base. But before I go to sleep, I like to put this light at the yellow tint all the way up with maximum brightness. And it just really provides this really nice, rich color that is really calm for the eyes, as you guys know. And it's got this LED array and it can move up and down, which is really nice. And yeah, guys. So with that being said, what are my favorite top three devices from Xiaomi? Well, one of them, <laughs> as you guess, is this guy right here. Second of all would be this mechanical keyboard. And third of all is their Bluetooth speaker, which is actually their latest model that they provide. So yeah, guys, with that being said, that is actually pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, let me know what you think. This, was, this video turned into a rant. It pretty much took a while to make, and it's probably gonna be more than 15 minutes long. But uh, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. It is a rant. It turned into a rant, kind of. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know what you think, if you like Xiaomi or not, what do you hate about them, what do you like about them. And one thing before I end this video, there's actually a Xiaomi sale going on on Gearbest right now. So if you're interested in anything from Xiaomi, I would say go ahead and check it out along with my videos that I'll link in the description. 
And yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.